Here are six things to remember while rotating in Fortnite, presented by Fortnite Master. Battle Royale games are relatively new for a lot of gamers. While many of the core concepts and mechanics are the same as other shooters, the battle royale aspect adds an extra layer of complexity. The massive map and closing storm mechanic means that map rotations are a major part of succeeding in games like Fortnite. Rotations simply refer to moving from one part of the map to another with a certain intent, like finding more loot, farming mats, outrunning the storm, or getting high ground in the circle. In this video, we're providing six tips for mastering when, where, and how to rotate. Without wasting any time, let's get started. Your playstyle in Fortnite will determine the kind of rotations you'll make. If you're the kind of player that typically chooses to avoid fights, you'll want to lean towards safer rotations. If you're the kind of player that's constantly looking for a fight, more aggressive rotations are more up your alley. Either way, this guide has you covered with general tips for making rotations and explanations on how to rotate according to your own playstyle. Rotate with a purpose. It's easy to get lost in the game and just run around mindlessly, but it's important to always have a purpose when rotating. Many times, that purpose will be getting into the circle and putting yourself in a good position, like on natural high ground. If your landing spot is already in the first circle, that purpose is usually more along the lines of finding more loot and farming materials. It's generally a good idea to rotate before the storm circle starts closing in. Rotating early is typically better because you can choose to take a longer route to avoid fights and popular areas. Trying to barely outrun the edge of the storm leaves you vulnerable to other teams because you often end up running completely straight without stopping to avoid storm damage. The first storm only ticks for one damage, so it's not the end of the world if you get caught in it for a little bit. The second storm ticks for one damage until it's finished closing, at which point it starts ticking for two damage a second. After this point, it hurts a lot to get caught in the storm for any amount of time, so avoid it if at all possible. It's also important to pay attention to the bus route and note where enemies are landing and where the hottest landing spots will be. This information helps with planning rotations according to your playstyle. In other words, you'll know where others will be rotating from, so you can target or avoid those same spots depending on your playstyle. Now we're going to dive into some ways to make safe rotations and avoid unnecessary fights throughout the game. First off, landing around the edge of the map makes it easier to make safe rotations. Sticking to the outer edges of the map makes it much less likely you'll run into other players. Rotating early helps a lot with this because it gives you enough time to take the long way into the circle if you want to avoid potential encounters. As for where to enter the circle, try positioning yourself on the side of the circle opposite to where most players are coming from. Think about where players are coming from, remembering the bus route and the hottest drops for that match. Once you know that, it's relatively easy to predict which side of the circle most players will be rotating towards. If the circle RNG is kind, you may not have to move at all. Generally, fewer rotations equal more safety. Sitting in an abandoned house or basement that happens to be in the safe zone all game is about as safe as you can get. When you're forced to rotate into the safe zone, you want to try and stay on the edge of the circle and rotate to the safe zone as indirectly as possible. Now let's talk about some aggressive rotation strategies. The sole purpose of these rotations is to run into as many people as possible and farm kills. For aggressive rotations, the most important thing to pay attention to is the bus route and where people drop. This will help you determine where to drop and where to rotate afterwards. If you're farming kills, you want to drop somewhere popular like Tilted Towers where you can easily leave with a handful of kills. As for where to rotate, usually you can find enemies heading from any of the popular landing spots and moving into the safe zone. Popular landing spots include places like Tilted, Salty Springs, Retail Row, Pleasant Park, and anywhere under the bus route. Visualize arrows running from the most popular landing spots into the first circle, and you're likely to find people running along those routes. The natural exits from high traffic locations into the rest of the map are usually great spots to keep an eye out for more targets as well. In Tilted, for example, players tend to exit towards Leaky Lake, the river, or the path leading west. The fourth circle is considered late game for most casual matches. These late game circles deal a ton of damage and are only big enough for a handful of players to feel comfortable. In other words, there aren't many places to hide. For late game circles, positioning is everything. It's almost always better to rotate early and get natural high ground in the circle. To make these late game rotations a little safer, try waiting for some other players or teams to start fighting and use that opportunity to rotate. In situations where other players already have the high ground, you can use the quicker moving late game safe zones to your advantage by just waiting for them to move. There's no need to push people with bases on the high ground when they'll be forced to move in a matter of minutes. 
Another thing to remember about late game circles is that they're much slower, meaning that you could typically outrun the storm from any position. Rotating on the edge of the storm can be dangerous as players are shooting at you, but if you're unseen, it can be a great way to rotate without drawing attention to yourself. But remember, late game circles hurt a lot, so avoid getting caught in the storm at all costs. There are a ton of mobility items in Fortnite that can help you rotate faster. These items can act as a get out of jail free card if you find yourself late on a rotation or stuck in a spot that won't let you rotate. Ice traps are the easiest to find because their rarity is common. All it takes is a couple down ramps, a pyramid, or a hill to pick up some major speed with these traps. Items like launch pads, the grappler, and rift to goes are great for rotations for obvious reasons, although they're much harder to find at epic rarity. Other features like rifts, ATKs, and shadow stones can help speed up the rotations as well. Thank you all for watching this video. On the right, you can watch another guide made by us. On the left, hover over the Fortnite master icon to subscribe. Finally, comment down below which guide you want to see next. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One, and we're out. Peace.